right about now. And we got some more popping. We bring exactly what you want in more often. The whole team's feeding to watch your jaw drop. This is World TV, and we got you all watching. Travis McPherson here for the Dream 16 and UFC 119 wrap up. Dream 16 came to us very early Saturday morning from Japan as Jason Mayhem Miller submits the unsubmittable Kazushi Sakuraba. Now, Sakuraba had been submitted very early in his career, but there's some controversy about whether or not it was a work. This definitely was not. Uh, Jason Mayhem Miller lives his dream of fighting his idol and submits him. And really, that should shut the door on Sakuraba's career as he's seen so many battles and given us so much entertainment. It's very difficult to understand the mindset of a fighter to know why they continue on when their competitive edge is very obviously over. We'll get to that from UFC 119 as well. Also on the card, Gegard Musashi wins the vacant light heavyweight title over Mizuno. Mizuno actually trains here in Kirkland, Washington with uh, Team AMC and apparently missed out on several weeks of practice as he was injured twice here in Kirkland. But when you have a title fight in front of your home country, you got to do what you got to do. He went out there, wasn't able to pull off the victory, and uh, Gegard Musashi now has another title to add to his uh, illustrious career so far. Shinya Aoki continues his dominance in Japan with a victory over Marcus Aurelio. Uh, really tied him up and didn't really try to finish him, but kept him uh, completely bound on his back. Um, Shinya Aoki continues his dominance in Japan. We'll have to see what's next for him. Dream itself may have ended. Was that the last numbered Dream event? They have the New Year's Eve card, but nothing scheduled beyond that. Dream 17 was canceled several months ago, and uh, moving forward, it's very hard to tell whether or not they're going to survive the next year. Uh, officials I've talked to personally also have voiced concern about whether or not the company can keep financially viable, and it's it, we won't know until next year. So. We'll see what happens in the New Year's Eve card, and beyond that, we can only keep our fingers crossed. His dream really is the child of pride after it was purchased by Zufa uh, several years ago. UFC 119, uh, the case of some exciting fights with some very strange happenings and a very, very peculiar main event. Um, the undercard saw Matt Mitrione beating Joey Beltran uh, by a unanimous decision. Actually, seven fights on this card went to a decision. Three of those, a split decision, a lot of close fights, but some of them very controversial. The judging in the UFC 119 was no better than it has been over the last several events, and uh, in some cases, very controversial. Sean Shirk and Evan Dunham comes immediately to mind. I'm sure Evan Dunham was probably paid his win, as generally speaking, when Dana White sees something that he perceives as an injustice, and according to his Twitter, he certainly did, uh, he tends to pay them their win bonus. Uh, some other uh, interesting news, Matt Mitrione fires his own manager, uh, after his 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 victory over Beltran, uh, he says that he wasn't getting enough sponsorship money. It's just very interesting that he would fire uh, Malky, who is the manager of Ben Henderson, John Jones, and it seems to be uh, really expanding his stable of fighters. So it's very interesting to to have to be fired on national television. He took it pretty well over Twitter, so we'll have to see how that uh, how that goes out. Um, Chris lights out Lytle and Matt Sarah have their rematch, but the rematch much better than the first. They both let it all hang out. And another fight of the night bonus for Chris Lights Out Lido, who has eight now, leading the UFC and making more money in uh, in bonuses than he does in his regular contract. It's amazing. Chris Lights Out Lido is probably one of the only people who makes as much money as he does from the UFC and still maintains a full-time job as a firefighter. So we definitely uh, wish Chris Lights Out Lido the best. Um, Ryan Bader gets a win over Little Nog. It was a little bit of a... Back and forth, uh, he got a couple takedowns, nothing vicious, nothing dominating, uh, but Ryan Bader gets the win and goes on to perhaps face John Jones in a future fight, which would be absolutely exciting. Um, I still really consider John Jones undefeated, even though he has a, the, the disqualification loss, but really no one's even challenged him. So uh, this might be a challenge for John Jones. Uh, Bader versus Jones uh, would definitely be good for a main event on a Spike TV card or or whatever, maybe a co-main event for our upcoming pay-per-view card. And in the strangest uh, main event in quite a while, we saw a different Crow Cop. Not the Crow Cop of pride, but a different Crow Cop, a softer, kinder, gentler Crow Cop. One who was concerned for his fellow opponent uh, as he went over to check on Frank Mir during the uh, accidental knee to the groin and just generally speaking, talking to him and smiling coming to the ring, it was not the same Crow Cop 
uh, of the Pride days. And maybe we've seen the last of Crow Cop. Now, there are some rumors stating that he could come back at any time if he wants to, despite the loss, but um, it's really going to be up to him. If Mirko wants to fight again, he'll probably have one more fight, and I would think that, that would be it. But uh, after a knockout loss, and really not showing the Crow Cop of old, not not hunting down his opponent, uh, kind of, I mean, how many kicks? Three kicks, something like that? It, it just wasn't the same Mirko. I don't believe that Mirko Krokop really should continue his career in the UFC. I think maybe it's time to, to be a legend and be a trainer. So, for MMA Scraps Radio and Woe TV, this is Travis McPherson. Make sure to check out the full detailed UFC 119 and Dream 16 breakdown on the latest episode of MMA Scraps Radio with my co-host, Pat H.D. Berry. You can catch it at www.mmascrapsradio.com. We'll see you next week. Peace.